When I came to, I found a scene of utter devastation. Alive and sound in body, thank heaven. But how long had I been unconscious? My watch, the hands had been frozen at the moment of impact. I no longer had any sense of time. I knew the city's population would be trying to escape to the countryside, but my brother Ben and my fiancée Emily were here in London, trapped at the heart of the conflict, and I had to find my loved ones. The train looked as if it was a child's toy that had been thrown to the ground. The carriages were twisted and crushed on each other, passengers screaming behind the melted windows, but there was no one to release them. During the Blitz, a bomb had fallen directly on the Waterloo Line. This, this looked like a dozen had fallen. People were calling for help, desperate for a doctor, a leader, someone who could save them. Guiltily, I passed by. How could I stop for one without stopping for all? seemed as tall as Bankside Power Station, fueling an engine more destructive than anything I could imagine. space of a few hours, my world had been turned on its head. Already I had witnessed things that would stay with me forever. If the streets around the BBC had been cut off and overrun by the invaders, that meant the whole of the city center, from Westminster to Regent's Park, must already have fallen. Even now, the idea seemed impossible. 